This is a tutorial on how to use the Excel uh, character sheet. Um, I'm going to just run through and highlight whatever what all the stuff does, and then I will enter in values for it. Uh, this will probably the latter will probably be time lapsed to speed things along. Um, first of all, you have your name, uh, your your land speed, your race, age, alignment, deity, you know, size, gender, etc. Stuff right in this area. Um, you have your stats over here. This is your base stat. Um, any changes that come from items, for example, if you have a belt of, you know, strength plus four, then you would put your base strength here and then the plus four there. Um, and this is for any temporary changes. Uh, oh, anything, uh, pretty much you will only put stuff in white boxes. Green boxes have formulas and black are just labels, so you will never change those. Um, this is your hit points, your your base here is what you roll for your character. Uh, so if you're level two and you roll a D, you know, an, an eight on your first level and a ten or a ten on your second one, you would put eighteen here. This is just for keeping track of wounds. This is for marking your damage reduction, uh, your current hit points. This is your AC. Uh, you have armor, shield, dex, size, natural armor, deflection, and miscellaneous. Um, this shows your touch flat and flat-footed uh, armor class, your base attack bonus. You can put down any spell resistance you have here, as well as any miscellaneous modifiers to initiative. Um, here you put down your class and your level, which, as long as they are in the charts in here, um, it will fill in all of your base attack bonus, it'll fill in your um, base saves, and your skill points and stuff over there, although the skill points doesn't seem to work as well, so you're going to kind of need to keep track of that on your own. Um, all of the core classes are in here, as well as a couple other ones that we've um, added in as the game went on for our own use. Um, so if you're using one of the core classes, you don't need to worry about doing anything else with this. I believe all the I believe Kevin added all the psionic classes in here, too, so that won't be an issue. And then I'm going to add the scout, because I'm going to fill Gabby's in here, too, so... Um, this shows your attack progression. It'll show your first, uh, the base attack ones you have for your first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, for a melee, for instance, if I do fighter level uh, 10, it gives me a plus 5 for the first one because I have a negative 5 to my strength. So it would be plus 10 and plus 5, but since I have a minus 5 mod, it's 5 and 0. Same thing for ranged attack. Uh, this shows the percent chance of your arcane failure uh, for, from armor and such. Your base saves here is your bait, your saves, your base from your class, your ability adjustment, any magic, miscellaneous or temporary changes. Um, this is where you'd put stuff like plus two versus poison or something. You know, conditional modifiers to these saves. Uh, your grapple bonus here. Uh, down here is your weapons and armor. You they, they fill it on their own. You just type in the index number, uh, 1 through, I think it's 10. Uh, I, it's on, it's on the, the next sheet that I'll show in a minute, but um, you just type in the index number of the weapon and then hit enter, and then it'll fill in everything for you. Um, these are all entered either 1 or 0. If you have the feet, it shows different uh, feats here. If you have the feet, you just type in 1 and it changes to yes. Um, if you don't, you type in zero and it goes to no, and that applies to your melee and your ranged weapons. Um, anything pretty much right here, you can see anything with these little red um, corners on has a note, and you can view that by right-clicking and uh, edit con comment, and you can see the entire thing. Uh, this is stuff for dual wielding and two handed. Basically, you just you'll just put any any of these boxes that says no. You'll just type in one. Um, if if it applies to you, and you'll type in zero if it does not. Um, same thing for your armor. You have you type in the item slot here, and same thing for protective items. So it, it fills it all in for you. You only have to fill it in once on the equipment section. Uh, these are your skills. You you know, can mark down whether or not something's your class skill by hitting a 1 in there. Or not, you know, it's entirely up to you. Um, or oh, you can just keep track of it. You have your uh, total skill modifier, your ability modifier, which they're not in green, but you don't change these. 
You, you just want to type in your ranks and any miscellaneous modifiers you have to the skill and everything will fill in for you. Uh, you can fill in the specific ty kinds of knowledge and crafts and such and, you know, professions, perform, etc. here. Uh, move on to the... Anyway, but uh, since you guys don't have... And no one else in the group has a wizard, this is kind of pointless, so I won't go on to that. If you can't figure out how to use the wizard, if you if you roll the wizard and go to use this sheet and want more information on the familiar, um, just ask me about it. Um, we have here here is your uh, equipment, uh, your index, the amount, um, the name of the weapon. This is for weapons. This is for armor. This is for various equipment. I'll get to that in a second. Your weight, your cost, the damage it does. Um, how this works is the first cell is the number of dice, the second cell is the number of sides, so if it was 2d8 you would put 2, 8, and then this is any um, additional bonus, and this is the, the bonus, the weapon bonus of the item. So if I had a sword that did 2d8 and was a plus 1 sword, I would put in 2, 8, and 1. Um, this does not include strength. Make sure you do not put strength in there or dex or any of that stuff. All of your stats are applied to it when it's used. Um, let's see if I put in weapon. If if I when I put it in here, I type in one and there's weapon, and see two d eight minus four because it has because strength minus five and then it's a plus one weapon. So you do not add any stats to this amount. You just do the straight up 2D and then whatever bonus it is. Um, the critical is what it crits on. For example, if it crits on 19, you type in 19. If it crits on a 5, whatever. And then this is um, the multiplier, which is 3, say. If it, if it's normal, just just on a 20, you can leave this blank. And if it's just times 2, you can leave that blank. Or you can type in 20 and 2 if you so desire. Um, this is just the range on it, the range increment, the type it does, and any notes about it pretty straightforward. Um, same thing, the armor is pretty much the same thing. You have the amount, the name, the weight, the cost, your AC bonus, uh, the maximum dex bonus you can have on there, any armor check and spell failure and movement speed adjustments it may have, and then your notes and special properties. Um, this is your equipment is, you have, uh, it shows the slot for each of these. Um, it's where you'd write down the name, the weight, <clears throat> your cost, and then any bonuses you get and then the type, and then the bonus type. So, um, like if you had a plus six enhancement bonus, you'd put six, and then enhance. It, it doesn't really matter what you type in the bonus in the bonus type. That's just for your own personal notes. Um, and then these have to go will, are placed up um, here in your items. Uh, I do not have it put in there automatically because sometimes because I did not want to have to check. Um, for overlapping bonus types. So, like, if you had a if you had a something that gave you a, a plus six enhancement bonus to strength, and then something that gave you a plus eight enhancement bonus to strength, the way the D and D rules work, those do not stack. You only get a plus eight bonus, the higher of the two. And I did not want to try and write the formula to check for that. So, you will just have to go with your uh, your own watch you'll just have to watch on your own and figure that out for yourself so I apologize for that but um, again any any notes and then there's some more stuff here for further equipment um, and these are these are things that you wore would be wearing this this would be stuff that like you you may wear but aren't wearing right now um, and this section here you can type in a one and it will show if it's equipped or a zero if it's not so that can help you keep track uh, there is a sheet for inventory for like items that you don't wear and that's the next sheet which I'll get to in a second so this block right here is pretty much just for things you'd be wearing um, you can see your currency this despite not being white you you would you'd type in what how much you have of each year if I had three copper pieces I type in three six silver etc oops uh, don't hit backspace apparently just hit zero uh, this shows your t the total weight that you've carried, um, and because there is a table that shows your strength, that based on your strength and shows your carrying capacity, that will fill in these tables here, and your uh, total weight. This is the total weight of all your items and the total cost of all your items, the item worth of all your items, and your total worth is 
your item worth plus all of your currency. So that's that's kind of handy if you want to see your total your sum total of all your stuff. Uh, next is the inventory page, which is even more simplistic. It's just the the amount, the item, the weight, the cost, and the description. This is like all your miscellaneous tools and doodads and what have you. Um, and since this is the only thing on this page, you can you know extend this ad nauseum, just copy paste the bottom you know row over and over again, and you can just extend it as far as you want. Uh, in, on your abilities tab here, you have special abilities. Um, oops, I don't have book written there. Um, you have your special abilities, uh, what book it's found in, and the page number you'd find it on, as well as the description. Uh, again, you have your feats, the book, the page, and the description, and then any languages you know. Um, again, this can be extended in ad nauseum. Um, the charts here are just everything that the, the sheet uses to calculate things. Um, I have these set up that if you want to add something, um, like if you want to add a new class, you can just type, you can just make sure you can just insert a row like this. Um, make sure that if you do to change all of the numbers below this, and make sure you add it in all of the tables. You have the class index, the hit dice, your base attack table here, your fortitude reflex save, your will save, your power points, the highest spell level they know, the uh, mana points, and that's that. And those are the those are the ones that re require your class. So make sure that if you do add something to this chart, like if maybe one of you guys wants to branch out and level up in a class that doesn't that isn't included in here, make sure you add that class at the same location to all three or all four rows of these tables here. Um, so that's that's eight tables total. Well, nine since this is two of them. But make sure that you add it to all of those tables, or else the sheet will go hey 